hello my dear boys and girls it's good to see you after a long time today in this video we are going to uh, discuss about 30 questions that we can expect in a playwright interview let's get started the first and foremost question will be like why playwright because already we know that there is a selenium there is a cypress there is webdriver io and other um, popular frameworks are there then why we should go with playwright so it's very simple you can tell any of those reasons so basically we know that playwright is really fast compared to selenium and also it has a view huge variety of locator strategies which is really good for example we have get by role that is the aria options and also we have this locator we have like uh, left off right off all those are have and of course it has like inbuilt weight mechanism inbuilt repeater reporter inbuilt uh, test runner video generation so all those things you can um, say and also it can generate the har files so you can say a lot of points few of the points you can uh, take it from here as well then how do we run file test cases so we can use the retry option we can pass the retry in our playwright config file as well as we can pass it from our command line argument so npx playwright test they're followed by the retries and number of attempt you want to try then we can um yeah so how to handle two windows at tab so it's very simple concept we know that we have to wait for the event called pop-up and then uh, once we have to click on the element now for example this is going to be a little tricky here because in selenium whenever we do the click action after that we will get the window handles and we will switch to the window but in playwright it's going to work as a event listener concept so we have to wait for the event and then we have to use the click action so this will work in the race condition within the promise dot all that means after completion of all the uh, functions within the promise dot all it will send us the or it will return us the uh, pop-up okay and the square bracket is basically the concept of destructuring in javascript or the typescript so you can mention that as well then how to generate report is very simple we can generate the report from the uh, playwright config file as well as we can pass it as a command line argument so within the report we have like multiple uh, configuration so this particular set is known as tuple tuple uh, like within the square brackets we have we are having another square bracket right so if you want to see the reports only on the console probably you can use like dot if you want to store it as a file you can store it like json or html and also xml i believe okay and what is the difference between npm and npx this is not playwright questions but uh, most of the time we are going to use the npx command so it is good to know so npm is basically your package manager which is used to uh, install delete or update any of the packages or any of the dependencies whereas npx is a package executor so whatever the dependencies or the packages you are going to use you are going to install with the help of npm and if you want to use those then you have to use the npx for example while doing the first time installation we will say like um npm playwright install or npm install playwright but when we have to use the playwright functions or we want to execute the playwright test we will say like npx so x means executor or execution okay then what is fixture so fixture is a very good concept in playwright already i have done two videos you can go and check that out but in simple fixture is like your hooks for example in this uh, template you can see like we have the test then the description then we have the async and within that we have the curly braces and we have the page this page object is known as the fixture that means we don't have to create any browser or we don't have to worry about closing the browser it's basically the fixture will take care and where from where we are getting the fixture in the sense like from the test and test we are of course importing from the uh, at the rate playwright slash test so this is only applicable for the playwright test runner that is for the node um, environment then how do you open browser if you if you are not using the playwright fixture which will look something like the first one if you are not using the playwright fixture then of course you have to use something like this so chromium round launch which is going to return us the browser from the browser we have to get a new context from the context we'll get a new page and using the page object we can use all the functions like go to locator click all the stuff okay then how do you perform cross browser testing so the one of the major reason we use playwright because it supports the cross browser testing uh, out of the box and of course we can use the projects configure configuration within the playwright config file so we have to just give the name like chromium firefox webkit and we can give the respective browser name and then 
uh, we can say like dash dash project from the command line argument to specific a particular project or if you don't give any project by default it will take all the project that means it will take all the browsers and it will just start execution not only the browser we can also use the simulation like we can use like device iphone uh, pixel like that also we can do the simulation how to execute in a local browser so we know that playwright by default runs in the chromium the webkit or the firefox but not the regular browser that we use for example we use like let's say that we are using the 100 100th version of chrome browser but in playwright it will always use the 101 that means it will use your uh, pre-release version so if you want to use your local version then of course we'll go with the channel option where we can say like chrome firefox or image edge and how to run a specific test from a test suite so we can do it in two options of course we know the grep command so npx player test dash g g stands for grep uh, where we have to give the specific test name or else if you have like test suite for example test dot describe and within that if you have like multiple tests you can mention any particular one or more test to test dot only which will run only those tests how to generate authentication cookie so this is a basically concept of the storage state concept we can use the command like npx playwright code gen then followed by dash dash save dash storage and the authentication file name so this will help us to skip the login for most of the test and uh, it is really a time saver how to skip a test based on the browser um so from the fixture we are getting like page and similarly we can get the browser context we can get the browser we can get the browser name so if the browser name equal to something just use the string um, triple equals of course we are checking for the uh, strict validation of the string firefox if it's firefox then we'll say like test.skip rest of the code will be skipped that's it very simple how to find expert or css um, basically we have only one function in playwright that is locator of course previously we have like playwright dot dollar and play dot double dollar which is deprecated and not recommended to use so we can use the only function playwright dot locator which you can find like xpath css or inbuilt playwright locator strategies for example id equal to something text equal to something you can use all those what is aria option it is recently introduced not recently maybe like three or four release ago so it's basically like we can interact with the elements even without finding the elements that means by just seeing the ui for example if it's a drop down we know it will be have a uh, role called um, select right so we can say like get by role select and then followed by you can give the name where it will find the locators you can just go through this or else we have already video uh, you can check out that so how to handle alert is very simple page on okay again it's like uh, not your selenium so once you click on the element alert will come then you will select driver switch to alert dot accept something but here it's different in selenium of course it's different so it's basically works on the listener concept and by default playwright always dismiss the alerts if you are not using this page dot on dialog so if there is any dialog and you are not handling it will be handled by playwright automatically and it will do the dismiss but if you want to do certain actions like accept or passing the alert message or you want to retrieve the alert message then you have to use this one and alert dot accept is a overloaded function so you can use only accept to accept the alert if you want to pass some data and accept then you have to pass the data within the accept function as a string how to open a new window or a new tab is very simple you have to use the page dot context dot new page Playwright architecture. I will make a separate video on this because uh, in few seconds I cannot explain you the architecture. But in simple, it uses the web socket, not like Selenium where it uses all the JSON web protocol. And of course, in Selenium four, it has been changed. Changed, but to be simple, it uses web socket. Web socket in, means in the sense like it will send a request and we will get the response. So that's a very simple thing. But I will leave a link in the description. Probably you can go and check it out, or else I will make a separate video on this. Wait for that. How to run test in parallel by default playwright out of the box it executes the test in parallel but if you want to set consider you have 10 numbers of test cases and you want to run execute like um, three browsers at a time then you can use the function called punch not the function 
you can use the command line argument called as as occurs or else you can also conf configure that it in your playwright config file how to maximize browser there is no state way uh, you can either set the view port with the number of like 1280 into 720 or else you can also make the view port as null that means there won't be any view port it will adapt to your system resolution but sometimes it doesn't work i know not sure if it's a bug or anything but already we have a video you can probably go and check it out name a few exception you faced in playwright if it's selenium i can mention a lot of exception but in playwright there's only one i have uh, noted mostly that is playwright timeout exception and of course the exception is like timeout but the message is like a will be different for example mostly we have seen like strict mode violation so when we use the locator function and if there is any duplicate then we will get the like strict mode violation error and if the assertion is going to fail then also it will be like timeout whatever it is most of the time it is timeout exception but the message will be different exception name is timeout exception how to do hard and soft asset basically the same expect from the playwright inbuilt um, assertion library which is inspired or which is cloned from the um just asset library which is very powerful so we can say like expect page to have url which is hard and if you want to make it soft then use expect dot soft that's it how to open the html report we can do it in two ways so within your playwright config file you can say like open and followed by always never or on failure or else if you already have executed the test and you went out and you come back and you want to see your reporter probably you can use the command line argument like npx playwright then followed by show dash report what is the difference between inner html text content and inner text i have a dedicated video for this go and check it out in simple inner text will return you the text which is visible whereas text content will give you the text which is there as well as the invisible part inner html will also give you the styling format so for example here you can see like hey strong all those are html elements but still it's giving you that's different what is the difference between fill and type so fill will basically clear all your existing data in any input field and it will do the type when it do the type it will just like swine that means it will just type everything in a few milliseconds but whereas type will not clear the existing value it will just do the append and it will type one by one which is slow but based on your test scenario you have to use it for example if there is any key press event it is recommended to use the type function if there is no key press event then you can go with the fill what's key press event in the sense like for example take the google search bar whenever we type something it will give us some suggestion right it will give you multiple options so if you want to achieve that you have to use the type if you don't want to achieve that just same fill data for example you have to just enter your first name last name or email id you can go with the fill function as well how to attach a screenshot to the reporter we can do it in two ways so for example already we know that in our configuration file we can say screenshot off on or only on failure only on retry we have all those options but if you want to take a um, screenshot of a particular scenario for example the config in the configuration when we give the screenshot it will just take the last screenshot wherever your test ends and it will attach to the reporter but in between as soon as you do the login you want to take a screenshot and you want to see that then you have to use this test info how to save a screenshot to the path just paste dot screenshot give the path of the file that's it very simple thing and always use the await don't mess with the await what is the difference between uh, new page and new context so new context will not carry forward your um, cookies sessions existing data whereas new page will carry forward all the sessions ca sessions and cache from the previous context how to find multiple locators this is one of the mostly i ask when i interview people so locator page dot locator function is the only one function we have which will give you single element as well as multiple element in selenium we have like two functions find element and find elements in playwright very simple just the locator but you might also ask me hey kaushik but if i use page dot locator and if there is any multiple locators it will end up with a strict mode violation error that's true but it is depends on the way you use for example here i have page dot locator and image 
then i am storing the images and next line i am using like images dot all that means i am trying to find all the images in this scenario you won't get any state mode violation error but if you use like images dot click that means of course there is a multiple images and you are trying to click on all the images which is street mode violation error similar to this you can also say like images dot nth or first or last so that will also find multiple elements but won't give you any error how to use explicit weight so Parrot is very famous for its inbuilt weight mechanisms and already I have given you plenty of uh, tutorial on that, demos on that. But still if you want to use probably this are. There is no statement in the official website that this is the explicit weight but I consider this is to, this is to be supposed to be explicit, explicit weight because of the naming of their functionality. How to verify element CSS color? It's very simple. We have the expect function, which is really good. You can do auto edit. So to have CSS is the function and you can pass the background color and what the color to be masked. Similarly, you can pass like text color, like color and all those stuff. Okay. So that's it. I know it's very quick and I haven't shown you any demo because already I have made more than 100 plus videos in this series. So go and watch that. And if you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment. I'll be happy to reply and if you are looking for job it's a great time to learn playwright because playwright is in really in demand i hope you all i hope you will get the job and wish you all the very best bye bye take care see you in the next one very soon